Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know it's been a minute. I've been away on holiday. We had Christmas, but we are officially back. And today, we are installing the Tardo heating system. So I thought, why not take you guys through the process of the setup they've got already and how we're gonna be installing this new system. So the Tardo system, if you don't know what this is already, it is a smart thermostat system. So we've got the starter kit, wired system as they've already got wired thermostats in this property and then we've also got an additional one because they've got two zones they've got one zone which is going to be the main one that's going to do pretty much the whole of the property the living dining area kitchen uh bedroom one bathroom and then this second zone is just the main master bedroom. So they've got two zones in this property, so we've got two to get installed. But the Tardo smart thermostat system, basically it's a fancy thermostat. So obviously, as you can see by the picture, you can control it by your phone. Um, I think it works with the Alexa as well. So if you're out and about, you're about to come home and you want the heating on in the property, you can just go on your phone, turn it on, and then when you get in, it'll be all nice and cozy and hot. So we're gonna get installed. Let's show you up what's in the box, what do we get with the setup, and how we're gonna be doing it. So let's crack this open and have a look, see what we've got in the box. So we have got the thermostat itself. This little barcode is needed for when you pair it up onto your mobile device. So once it's all installed live, we can go around, scan the barcodes, and it will connect directly to the phone itself. Uh, we also get a few fixings. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be doing it yet. I don't know whether to cut a back box out. I'll fix it straight to the wall. We've got the manual installer guide, installer guide for anyone that's gonna be using the system. And then we've got, basically, this is the Wi-Fi link. So this will plug into your Wi-Fi router. That gives it all the connection and that makes it able to connect up to your phone, your Alexa, all that jazz. So that is the ethernet cable. And then we have got the plug as well. So. Obviously, it's got the different plugs, European, etc. But we are only going to be using the UK standard. And then this one is just uh, solely a thermostat. It's not with the startup kit because it's just an add-on to the startup kit. So you basically buy the startup kit and then you can have as many thermostats as you want. So say if you was doing underfloor heating, you could buy the startup kit and then the underfloor heating might have five different zones. You just buy five of these to control them. Um, and yeah, they're pretty easy to install. We've gone with the wired version because I'm going to show you the setup they've got at the minute. Um, I didn't want the hassle of just having it all wireless and having to mess about with the heating cables when there's no need. We can just get a wired one and connect it up like that. So this is the setup they've got at the minute. So they've just got a Dan Danfoss, is it Danfoss uh, thermostat? Just a standard on-off thermostat. I think you can do the programs on it as well. Um, this one controls pretty much the whole property, and then this one round here controls just the bedroom. So we're going to swap them both over. Hopefully, well, what I'm thinking is I doubt there's a patris behind there, so I might cut a patris box in, fix the thermostat to that, because I've done that in the past, and it just makes it a lot easier, to be fair. Boiler set up, so we've got the boiler, we've got the wiring center up here, so this is what I was talking about. It's already wired from this center, so there's no need to take the cables apart, take this center, center apart, swap them all about. We've got the two valves, um, controlling the two zones so there weren't really much point of swapping it all back just to have one thermostat we just got the wired ones to control all the areas so without further ado let's get installed so what we're going to start off by doing is finding the power supply so the power supply in this room is just off this few spur down here so technically that should kill the thermostats as well because basically that feeds the wiring center and then all your connections are in that box there so if we isolate the boiler it should turn off the thermostats as well which yes it has so that's the thermostats killed they're dead obviously we we'll take them off the wall and test them properly as well okay the first one we've just taken off uh this thermostat so what we have got here we've obviously got our neutral we've got our earth we've got our link cable so we've got our permanent live in from the wiring center and then we've got our normally yeah our normally open so our permanent live will come to here every time you activate the thermostat 
the live will then be sent back to there to activate the valve to basically turn the heating on and then we've just got our link cable to uh, keep that live there as well so that's just a link from the permanent live over to there and that is pretty much simple as it gets really it's basically thermostats are basically a fancy switch in all honesty so now we've just got to disconnect these um, and then get the new one on don't get them mixed round, obviously the switch line and the permanent, when you do install the new thermostat, don't get them mixed up, because otherwise it ain't gonna work properly. It's gonna be sending the wrong signals. So that is a number one tip as well. Just mark up on the cable which one is the switch wire. As easy as that. Now we're just gonna get the new one open, show you the connections on the new one. Obviously, this, the other one will be exactly the same connections as this. So with this, it literally comes with a backing plate and then we have the thermostat itself. Once this is wired up, that will clip onto that and make the connections. So with this, we'll open it up and show you. That's the wrong bloody screwdriver for that. I might get away with a small flathead. I've lost all my bloody screwdrivers, honestly. I'm a nightmare, I'm a nightmare when it comes to tools. I just lose everything. So we just unscrew this little plate take that off as this is where the all, all the connections are going to come into we can unscrew it that just comes off there like that and then we have our connections so i'm not sure if you can see that but um they're literally labeled up with all the connections so we have got our normally open common we've got our um i guess our earth and neutrals will just be way goes up in there as well because there's no terminal for them ones but yeah normally open normally close common we're not going to need the uh normally close so it'll just be normally open for the switch line common permanent and then neutral and earth they're just going way goes as simple as that the only thing that might be a little bit annoying is obviously that is a little bit smaller than the old one, so there might be a bit of making good, but hopefully it covers the screw holes at least. And then, uh, yeah, that is very annoying, but it is what it is, but pretty simple install to be fair. So we've just disconnected our thermostat. We've obviously got our switch line, we've got our, so we just pulled the sleeving up so it doesn't, they don't touch each other, otherwise it will uh, trip the split load RCD board. Got our permanent feed in there as well. Now we're just gonna undo these two screws, take the plate off, mount the new plate to the wall, nice and easy. Do you know what, once that's on, I'm thinking we might just get away with the uh, no making good, because obviously the cover goes on top of that. So, I mean, we've got that little bit of paint there, but we can take that off, but I think we might just about get over it, which is a result. Right, so we've just marked out our fixed holes. We're just gonna be using red wall plugs on these, to be fair. I think that's more than man enough. The actual thermostat itself is never gonna be touched because you're always gonna be doing it on your phone. So we've just drilled out the holes. Well, I say drilled out, I'm gonna be honest. I just got this 5.5 bit and done it by hand because I can't be bothered to go down to the van. <laughs> I know, I know, lazy, but saves me 10 minute trip going to the van and going back. It's only a bit of plasterboard. So now we can just get our red raw plugs, put them in there, and that'll be more than man enough for these thermostats. Cause like I said, they're never gonna be touched. Now we can just screw it in, make sure that the base is all nice and level obviously, but screw it in with screwdriver, impact, whatever you wanna screw it in with. Um, Make sure it's nice and tight. To be fair, these raw plugs are flipping well tight, so. Earth in the way go, neutral in the way go, and then we're just left with our permanent and our switch line back to the boiler. So we're just gonna terminate them in normally open and common. There's nothing else we need to do with these. These are all for relays and things like that. So we don't need that, just these two cables. We're gonna terminate into there nice and easy. How many times does he say nice and easy? put it down in the comment section. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment down below. How many times did I say nice and easy this video? Because 
I just keep saying it because it is generally that easy. I think a lot of people go, oh, thermostats, I can't do boiler wiring and thermostats and things like that. But it is, it's a piece of cake. Um, yeah. The only thing I was going to put, I was going to put a dry lining box because I've done it before. Um, I've done, I've installed these before and I put them on dry liners, which obviously it gives you a lot more space in the back, but now I'm wishing I sort of had with these Wagos, but it is what it is, ain't too bad. Um, whoever second fix this thermostat, this is a new build as well, whoever second fix this thermostat in the first place, they left so much cable on these. It's a joke, it's an absolute joke. You don't need that much cable. And that is it all wired up. So obviously we've got a neutral, we've got earths, we've got the normally open, and then we've got the common. So that cable will be always live. And then when you activate the thermostat, the switch line return will go through that normally open, telling the valve to open and turn the heating on. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll get it all buttoned up, I'll get this lid on, I'll get the thermostat clipped on, and then what I'm gonna do is go the other side, do the other one because it's gonna be exactly the same process. And then once they're all buttoned up, I'll turn the power back on, and then we can go through setting it up, setting it up uh, on the phone and things like that. What do we plug into the Wi-Fi router? So hang tight, I'll be back in a minute. Now it comes setting up the Wi-Fi side of it. So we get this little device, the Ethernet cable, and then we have got the power source for that device. Let me show you how it all plugs in and how it all works. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but we've got our Wi-Fi router. We need to take note of this sticker here to connect it up to the Tardo system, but it just plugs in there and then it goes to this internet bridge. The cables, you don't get a lot on them. So yeah, this gets powered up and then we have our bridge into our Wi-Fi unit into the back here. So yeah, nice and easy. Right, so I don't know how well you can see that, but the bridge is now connected to the phone. So now it says activate pairing. So we're just gonna press activate pairing. Pairing mode will remain active for 12 hours. And now we wanna add some more devices. So it just comes up with a camera and then let me just flip you around quickly. This is what I'm talking about with these little tabs. We just get the camera, do that. Add that device found, register device, smart thermostat, power your device, continue, press and hold for three seconds. And it goes into pairing mode and then pairing. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. And then it's just obviously searching and connecting to the bridge this way. So this will take a few minutes. Once it's paired, I'll come back to you. All right, so now we've got the device connected. Now what we want to do is we'll just go to room one, change that, that'll be living. Um, done, that's good enough. Save. And then that is pretty much it. So you go home, you can set it down. So set it right down to off. And then as you can see, the thermostat is kicked in, going off. So now that should switch off this boiler as well. As you can tell, the boiler's just fired up. We've just literally set that to the desired degrees that we want it. Obviously, if it's above room temperature, then it will start kicking in. So now we know it's all working. We just turn them down to zero turn the bedroom down to zero, make sure it completely shuts off the boiler, just to double check that it's working and doing everything that it should be doing. But I think that is job well done. As you can see, we've turned them all down to zero and now we just wait for the boiler to switch off. And then once that's done, it's looking all gravy lads. And that is job well done. Um, nice and easy, simple install. These Tardo sats, obviously you can set it to the certain days if you go on holiday, if you want to set them to certain times, obviously you can do all that via the app. But yeah, very simple install and uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, install and this helped you out whether you're going to be installing one in the future or you're looking at getting one. Or if you do want us to install one, just hit up MM Electrics 
on the website, email, whatever, we'd be happy to help with any installation, whether that is thermostats, socket installs, lighting upgrades, whatever that is, we got you covered. So without further ado, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay grafting, lads.